Hello, welcome to the another tutorial of PowerPoint. In this video, I will design how to create infographics in PowerPoint. It looks very clean. I will create all these things from scratch. I have added an animation to this infographics as well. Let me show you how it looks with animation. You can download this infographic absolutely free. The link is in the description. This tutorial is completely for beginners and experts as well. So let's begin. Before starting the tutorial, let me show you a cool website where you can download free and premium PowerPoint templates. It have bunch of collection of business templates, marketing templates, health templates, pitch decks and more. Visit presentationtemplate.com. Let's start the tutorial. Go to the slide section and click new and select blank slide. Go to the insert tab. Go to the shapes and select notched arrow. Draw this by holding the shift key. Rotate this to 90 degree angle. Change the height and width of this arrow. Width could be 12 centimeter and height can be 6 centimeters now change the arrow to look like a ribbon on top of the head of the arrow you can see a small yellow circle which allow us to change the width of the arrow i have clicked on the arrow and now it's changing on the left hand side it allow us to change the head and tail of the arrow. I want to look like a beautiful ribbon, so maybe more like this. Now right click on the shape and click former shape. Click on the line and select no outline. Next go to the fill section and select gradient fill. It is already shown my desired bluish gradient color. If I go to the first dark gradient color, click on more colors, you can see my RGB color. And my light blue color is minus 35% of brightness. Let's duplicate this shape by three times. Hold the control key with the shift key. Move to the right. Distribute horizontally all these shapes go to the format and align distribute horizontally select the second shape change the red color you can see the RGB color or hex color and the dark color of this gradient is minus 34% now change this color again to green select again green and the dark color of this minus 34 again select the third fourth shape and the yellow change the darkness to minus 34 ribbon is completed let's add the diamond shape on the top of the ribbon go to the insert tab click shape and select the diamond shape draw this by holding the shift key align to the center and change the width and height to 4 cm align again to the center and fill color white and remove outline add drop shadow to the center change the blur to 12 pt and duplicate this three times again by holding the shift key Now let's add the icon in the diamond shape. Go to the insert tab, click pictures and select trophy SVG. I have already downloaded this SVG. 
you can download this the link in the description right click at this icon and change to ungroup click yes let me reduce the size of this icon it's pretty big now align this into the center and change the color to my blue color duplicate this trophy again and fit into the ribbons three times change the color according to the ribbon let's add the content in the ribbon go to the insert tab click text box and type your title select the text and change the font to montarist heading to 20 and turn into the bold change the color to white and align to the first ribbon to the center duplicate this heading to the bottom and remove the bold change to 14 pd and change the font to calibri type your small text or any description align to the center and select the heading again and duplicate this to the bottom add the numbers to one and change the font to 80 pt align to the bottom center of the ribbon like this duplicate this text and add into the all ribbons with center align change the number to 3 4 this infographics is completed before starting the animation let's add the heading on the top go to the insert tab and select text box add a heading infographics change the font to monitors again to turn bold and to 44 pt go to character spacing and select very loose and adjust to center of the slide change the color to little light dark decrease the font size right now ribbon very near to the heading so let me slightly down the ribbons like this slightly down the heading let's start the animation go to the animation tab and open the animation pen select that heading first and add the fade animation next select the ribbon and add the animation fly in increase the duration of the animation and double click on the animation and in the end in smooth end should be 0.45 and click ok you can see the very smooth animation in the end select the white box with icon ctrl g to group this out select the zoom animation to this white diamond box and again next select the title and heading ctrl g to group it out and add the fade animation next select the number and click on add animation click entrance effect and add rise up select all the animation and click on the small arrow and go with start after previous which is allow us to play animation one by one let me play this now duplicate this animation to rest of the ribbons select the first ribbon go to the animation painter and click group all these ribbons
heading and text as well. Now select the second ribbon diamond and and copy the animation from animation painter. After that, these are very simple steps to copying the animation. So I am fast forwarding in the video. Now the animation is completed. Let me show you how it looks with animation. Thanks for watching the video and keep subscribe my channel and thumbs up if you like this video.